What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. So last night I went to the grocery store, right? And I know you guys are well aware of all the craziness that's going on in the world. Went to the grocery store to pick up some groceries, specifically some meat and fish. And when I got there, they were completely sold out of everything. Even the tilapia frozen pieces, those bottom feeders, man, they're all gone. So my wife wasn't too happy. Well, I mean, I mean, what can you do, right? Everywhere sold out, toilet paper and meat and eggs and bread and all that good stuff. So she told me to go ahead and go out and get some groceries using my kayak. So what we're gonna do tomorrow is we're gonna take the Old Town Autopilot, we're gonna go out to the marsh and try to catch at least one redfish or perhaps maybe a flounder. Those are the two types of fish that my family wants to eat and I'm really looking forward to it. Let me show you some of the baits I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using the Bugs Curl Tail Redfish Jig. This is a killer, killer combination. Redfish, flounder, trout, they love this. Uh, last time I used this out in the marsh, I killed it with a flounder. So I'm looking forward to using this. Also, Bugs has also come out with a new Hydra Bug. This is an awesome heavier lure to target the bigger redfish trout. But uh, I'm gonna be throwing this because we're gonna be working the boat channel, the bayou channel in that marsh. It's about 10 feet deep, I think. And uh, this should be able to dive down really nice. I'll get down all the way down there and perhaps we'll be lucky and we'll be able to hit a redfish today and hopefully a trout. So wish me luck guys, you guys stay tuned. Okay, here we go guys, big old boat. All right, man, we just launched. Starting off a little bit late, but that's okay. But the winds, we got a hard south. I believe it's a 15, 18 mile power sustained winds. So I'm gonna try to find a south shoreline to fish, work the drop-offs. Hopefully we can get one fish a day so we can bring some groceries so my wife doesn't kick me out of the house. I can tell right away, there's a lot of bait down there, about uh, five feet down. So bait is here. Probably those little small little shads that we've been seeing everywhere at the jetties. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, but here's the south shoreline right here. I'm gonna work it all the way down so I get to the backpack lake. Just work the drop-offs. Hopefully we can tag a flounder. That's what I really want, but you know, every time I tag flounder, I get redfish. And when I tag redfish, I get hardheads. When I try to target hardheads, I get speckled trout. I can't explain it, folks. I'm looking for that three feet, a three and a half, two and a half to three and a half feet magic number. That's what I, here we go. We're right here now. We're just going to target these areas here. That's where the drop off's at. And that's going to give our best, our best um, chance of catching a nice fish and these small little drop offs. So we'll see what happens, man. We'll, we'll see what happens, folks. Oh yeah, much more peaceful right here on the South Shoreline. Really nice. I see bait blowing up. I'm going a little bit too fast. I'm going 2.2 miles per hour. Let's slow that down. Just really work this shoreline thoroughly. Okay, we're cruising about 0.9 miles per hour right now and working at a depth of two and a half to three feet of water, which I think is perfect. I'm not sure what the tide is doing. I really didn't look. Lots of bait, lots of bait jumping. Mullet, we see a lot of mullet. I may need to change out baits to mimic what's uh, what I'm seeing. All right, let's change out. Nothing doing with the clickbait. Still with something a little bit heavier. A little bit heavier. A bigger profile. Maybe we'll have better luck. I'm gonna do the hydro bug here. There we go, that's a fish, that's a red fish. That's a red, there we go, got him. <laughs> nice, I'll take him, I'll take him, I'll take him. I don't think, he, yeah, he's a slot, dang, that's a good red. I caught him right at, oh, dude. Well, there goes my line. That was a big red fish, my God. 
Caught him at three and a half feet. Well, my troubles continue, guys. Once again, my knot came off. My hydro bug. <laughs> That's my fault, but I caught him like right at three and a half feet. There was a lot of bait, and he just smoked that hydro bug. And um, I was messing with my camera. I, I should have hurried and netted him, but yeah, that's my fault, but uh, but they're here. That was a nice slot red. I would say about 24, 25 incher. Yes, got something. This gotta be a flounder. Oh my god, this gotta be. Oh my god, let me get the net. Let me get the net. Got him. Oh, it's a nice flounder. That's what I've been looking for. I got my groceries, baby. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh no, come on. Yes. <laughs> uh, only took maybe four hours. <laughs> well, will you look at that, guys? Been grinding it all day. Finally got me a keeper flounder. This is the fish I've been hoping and looking for. He got some nice fillets. Hey, he's probably about close to 17 incher on the bug's curl tail, too. God, I've gone through so many different lures, and the curl tail is the one that delivered. All right, let's make sure he's legal before we were able to take him home. Oh, my wife is going to be so happy I get to sleep on the bed. 15, 15 and a little bit past a half inch with a pinch tail, almost three quarters touching. But yeah, that's the flounder we've been looking for, folks. And we are going to... I'm so happy because I went to Kroger's and they didn't have any. <laughs> yes, on the curl tail, baby. Yeah, what a grinder. I'm telling you what, I've been grinding it out here for about almost four hours. I had a big red fish. I lost them because that was my idiocy. Not checking my leader line for frayed um, spots. And that leader line was messed up from the oyster from the previous session. And uh, that, that red fish got off. But uh, just grinding it, going up and down this channel. Wanted to go to the back lake, but the, the winds were so harsh coming around our face. It made no sense. So we just stuck to the south shoreline and to, to get a little bit of refuge from this wind and just tossing up and down the shoreline. I finally, finally got my targeted species that I wanted. I'm so happy. Spam can stay in the pantry. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am getting sick and tired of all this Corona COVID-19. I only, not only have to see it at work because I'm a healthcare provider, I have to see it blown up all over my phone, but I'm very, very lucky that I was able to get out of the house today. And a lot of you guys have asked that my wife come back to the channel and do another cook. So that's what we're going to do. Um, she decided she wanted to hook you guys up with a special catch and cook. Here she is folks. This was her whole idea to doing it outside to cook the flounder a special way. I don't even know what she's going to do because she had, she didn't tell me it's a surprise, not only for me, but for you guys. So you guys stay tuned. I'm pretty, pretty excited. Let's see what she does for us. Hey guys, hope you're doing well, staying at home. Nick caught a nice sized flounder. So what I'm gonna do is uh, we already scaled it, gutted it, and we're going to cook it whole today. So you wanna pat it dry since we're going to be using the frying pan. Water and oil, they don't mix. So anytime you're cooking any kind of protein, you want to make sure it is dry. So that's nice and dry, cooking the whole fish today. So. That's some oil, got a cup of oil. I'm just gonna do half a cup. I'm gonna let that oil get really, really hot. While that's getting hot, I'm gonna coat my flounder. This is potato starch. So honey, is this a Asian dish again? Yes, Are we doing? Asian All right. dish. Interesting. I think Asians cook, um, make sure you get the tail. I think Asians cook whole fish really, really well. And we're doing it outside just to get some fresh air. It's nice and cool. Also, when you cook whole fish, it kind of gets stinky, so it stinks up the house. So nicely coated, get the fins, make sure you get the tail. I could tell the oil is getting hot. So, ready to go. So, coated it nicely. And I'm going to put the dark side down. Now, if you've never used a wok before, like all pans, 
you can use all sides of the wok. It gets everything gets real hot, so just want to let that cook. You can also move the oil around, make sure it gets everywhere. We're gonna do that for five minutes, and then we'll flip it. So guys, here's a question that I want to ask you guys. You guys gotta be uh, genuine, okay? Be honest. So. I'm, I'm trying to get my wife to start her own cooking channel, but she says that she doesn't, she doesn't think she's good enough, but I disagree, she cooks excellent. Um, so can you guys comment below and let her know um, that you guys would be willing to watch her channel if she does? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what the problem is. I told her she should do it. I mean, it'd be a, a great stress reliever for her because she's an educator. And on top of that, um, uh, she just can show off some of her skills that she's picked up throughout the years so I mean I don't know what do you think <laughs> I have to really think about it she's got to think about it. but I think a lot of you commenters out there if you guys can persuade her that would really push her over the edge when you're using the wok you know you can manipulate the oil this is how Asian fry things don't worry about the part sticking up That's the wok the whole thing is real hot so don't worry about that Okay guys, it's been five, six minutes, so we're gonna flip it. And the tail came off. Okay, mom. That's okay, you need it. And then another five five minutes. Yeah. So that side looks like ugly because the skin's off so I'm gonna do presentation down so it looks better. It's all about the presentation. Put that there. Get the tail. Voila. The plain game fried fish, huh? <laughs> okay, now we need to make the sauce real quick. I'm gonna turn down my heat medium lightly clean it out real quick nothing fancy and then you're gonna put water okay one and a half tablespoons of water quarter teaspoon of sugar one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce if you want to add a little bit of oil you can and let that boil. I, if you want a little bit of pepper, salt, just a dash. You're gonna let that boil. For how long? Um, just a couple of minutes. Turn up your heat. So it's already starting to boil on the edge. It's getting hot, you wanna mix it up. Make sure the sugar dissolves. Some green onions, we call them scallions. Toss them in real quick. And it's everything's boiling, ready to go. Turn your heat off. Can you smell it? Mm -hmm. The sauce, it yeah, sauce is ready. Heat off and then, and then you just pour it on your fish. That's and pretty simple enough. Yeah. And it's ready to eat. Nice. Is this a Chinese dish or is this a plain old Asian dish? Asian. But all all Asian races eat it, right? Yeah, we eat. We always eat the fish whole. Yeah, that's true. Or eat it raw. All right, guys. Moment of truth. My wife's going to add a little bit more green onions, but I'm starving. It was a long day on the water. Grinded it for gosh six hours. And you want to add cilantro? So if well, you I know see, you we, like it. Yeah, I love cilantro. So we got we got some organic cilantro growing in our little pot here. Um, just gonna sprinkle it on and then we're gonna chow down. You know, it's gonna be a little bit different because I'm used to eating this raw. <laughs> Let's try this out. Oh, that's a good piece. Oh yeah, this is a nice piece right here. Get some sauce, you have to dip it in the sauce. Yeah, that's delicious. Oh, it has a lot of meat, actually. Girl, 
The fish I catch are big. <laughs> Man, mm, maybe we should have sashimi it. There's a lot of meat. Yeah, but all you guys are are too tired of watching me eating it raw, right? <laughs> what do you um, think? I mean, we could add some salt and pepper if it's a little bland. I, think, I don't know. I'll say I have. I, think, I feel like it has a lot of pep, um, a lot of flavor. A little bit on the salty side because of the soy sauce, but I'm I'm really sensitive to salt. But overall, it's pretty good. Very very simple. Anyone can do this. I mm -hmm. mean, it only takes a few minutes. So very impressed, flounder. It's probably I, okay. I'm gonna boldly say this: as of right now, for 2020, flounder fishing is probably my favorite thing to do. I love redfish. I love trout. Ooh, nice. But I love me flounder. The flatfish, absolutely beautiful, great tasting fish. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below. Should she start her own uh, cooking channel? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she has a she has a wide variety of recipes in her head and written down, just passed on from generation to generation. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We wanted to do, well she wanted to do this outside because she knows a lot of you guys are cooped up inside. And um, it's, it's a very stressful time right now. And um, yeah, it's just, it, the world is changing as we speak. And uh, we just wanted to do something that hopefully will brighten your day. So hopefully we, we did that today. So guys, make sure you hit that like button if you like this video. Um, you guys stay safe out, out there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.